Hello and welcome to the Midshire Telecom webinar for SIP Trunk Call Manager. Uh, my name is Simon Lister, Ops Director for Midshire. Uh, if you're on this webinar, that means you're a customer of ours, so I'd like to take this opportunity to thank you for your business uh, and also thank you for taking part in this webinar. Um, I've placed you on mute, um, no offence, uh, we're not taking questions on this webinar, so if you do have any questions, please do contact our Customer Support Centre uh, on 0800 008 6038. We've got a support team there, be happy to take your call uh, and guide you through any of the options and programming uh, that we're going to go through today as well. Okay, so without further ado, uh, first of all, I'm going to show you our website. Uh, we've got some useful information there on SIP Trunk Call Manager, um, some details about the features and benefits, and also some links to the iOS app. So if you want to download it onto your iPhone, uh, if you do have an iPhone, or of course, if you use Android, uh, there's a link to the Android application there as well um, to download. Um, on the website as well, details on how to create a call plan. Don't worry, we're going to do a walkthrough on that as well today. Um, and activating those call plans um, so that you can divert your calls. So first of all, what is SIP Trunk Call Manager? So SIP Trunk Call Manager basically gives you some control, um, a, a layer of application so that you can take control of the inbound calls on your telephone numbers. So all the DDIs for all of your staff, um, you can divert them via a smartphone or a web browser to another destination, another group of, of uh, destinations, so a hunt group, for example, to a voicemail, and so on and so forth. Basically, it's putting you in control um, of how your inbound calls are routing. So, in the case of business continuity, where perhaps you haven't got access to your building um, for whatever reason, then you can quickly invoke, as part of your business continuity plan, what happens to your telephone calls. It's important that your customers can still reach to, reach you. Um, so this, the, the, the call manager platform gives you that ability um, to divert your calls instantly rather than having to call on our support team, for example, in order to invoke it. Um, details of this website, we're, you know, we'll, we'll send out an email later to everyone that's on the webinar today so that they can uh, access this quite easily. Uh, links to the applications and what have you. Okay, so what we're going to cover is an agenda. Um, first of all, we're going to cover what is a call plan and de then demonstrate how to build a basic call plan. So one that is as simple as diverting all of your calls to a particular DDI to a mobile. Date and time routing, and also show how we can dem how we can route calls to a hunt group, for example. So perhaps your main number is is gets more than one call at once. I would imagine it perhaps possibly does. So in a business continuity scenario, it's important that your main number is diverted to say one, two, three, ten people, so that those important calls can be answered accordingly. Okay. So first of all, the actual website itself. So divert your browsers, your web browsers to siptrunkcallmanager.co.uk and you can see that I'm on the website just now and I'm going to log in on to our uh, demo platform. Just give me a second. Okay, so this is the landing page for Citron Call Manager. You can see here that I've got several telephone numbers within my estate, and I've got a brief overview of telephone calls that have been made into into my business, uh, into my DDIs, into my business telephone numbers. Um, the place that we're going to uh, conduct quite a lot of um, of this webinar on webinar on is point my number. So I'm going to go straight in and point my number. And what we can see again, all of my telephone numbers here, and I can if I click the uh, sort of eye shaped icon, if I click open, I then go into the specific telephone number and have a look what's actually going on with that number. So what we can see here 
it says STCM for my telephone number. And what that basically means is that my calls into this telephone number are being routed directly into the telephone system. So if your main telephone number then routes to six extensions, six people perhaps, they're answering telephone calls, that's exactly what it will be doing at this point. STCA, it just basically means that those calls being routed into your phone system. So, if I want to change that, so first of all, I've got to add what we would call a call plan. And I'm going to give that a, a name, and I'm going to call it something that's going to help me explain stuff a little bit later on. I'm going to call it Test BC Plan. So, Test Business Continuity Plan. Click Save. It's been created successfully. So what we can see now, and, and the way that this works is very much a sort of a flow diagram. So from the top, when the, the call comes in, when, when we start building the plan, you'll see that each node that we add demonstrates um, the flow that the telephone call makes. So if I hover over um, the first node, I'm going to click on that and I'm going to click the plus button, which is going to add a node. Up comes the control features uh, that I have at my disposal. Well, I'm going to go through all of these today. And actually, the first one we're going to go through, a very simple one, is I'm going to go straight for destination. Click destination, and it's actually uh, added the node into my flow diagram, and it's currently showing as undefined. That's because I haven't given it any details about where I want the, the telephone call to go to. So, if I click on there, there's a little pencil icon for modify properties. If I click into there, up pops a new window. So node name, destination, could quite easily call it Simon's Mobile or whatever. Um, I can add a whisper. Now that's quite interesting in terms of receiving calls to a mobile. So if I was going to receive you know, a personal call or a business call without being notified i wouldn't actually know which how i was supposed to answer it it was i suppose if it was my wife calling i wouldn't be wanting to say oh hello midchai telecom i'd be wanting to answer it in a different way so i can add a little whisper here which will announce to me that it's a business call so while the call is coming in i answer it i then get a little message to say business call then i know that the call is for business rather than a call that's personal uh, just a, a little additional feature there in terms of destination. The only bit you have to fill in here, uh, incidentally, is the, the telephone number that you want the calls routing to. So on my destination, I'm gonna stick my uh, mobile telephone number in. I'm also gonna add my email address. And the reason for that is that I want to be notified if, for example, that I can't take a call, I've missed it, um, or I was busy on another call, um, then I can actually put a notification and select the options that on if I was busy or I didn't answer, um, then I will get a notification from the system by email of the telephone number that I've missed the call at and what time. Quite a useful because we do not want to miss those telephone calls. If I click save, you'll see that uh, the selected control has been saved successfully. Basically, that means that I've defined exactly what needs to be done in terms of that destination. Quick tip for you here just now is that the next thing to do is to hit validate. The reason for that is if there's anything that you've missed, um, you, perhaps you've not put the destination number in, the mobile number that you want to route to, or when we get onto more complex calling plans, if you've missed something that needs to be done in order for it to work, if you click validate, it will check. It'll do a quick double check to make sure everything's okay. I click validate, it's quite a simple one. I've done it correctly. Um, and it's been validated successfully. I'm going to tick the box for make this my business continuity plan. And the reason for that is, is because these ones, the ones that have been ticked for this, um, particularly on the app, and we're going to show this a little bit later, you can quickly invoke all business continuity plans across all of your telephone numbers at the click of a button. So that just makes it that little bit easier. You know, When you do uh, need to invoke a business continuity scenario, being able to activate all the plans for all of your cell phone numbers is quite useful. So that's a, so I'm going to take that there. It'll become a bit more relevant a little bit later. Okay, if I click close the calling plan, do I want to close it? Yes, I do. I'm finished with editing it. So going back to this page, it's took me, take me straight back to the page, but you can see now that there's another call plan. Uh, test BC plan is there 
uh, its business continuity plan and it's been validated. So if I go into there, I'm just going to show you how to do this. So I'm going to go back into the plan quite simply. I'm going to click activate. Do I want to, am I sure? Do I want to activate the current plan? This call plan will be activated immediately. Yes, I do. And that's, as soon as that's been um, activated, which it has now, all of your calls on that telephone number will be routing through this call plan, i.e. they'll be getting through to my mobile telephone number. Excellent. So quite a straightforward call plan. Okay, back to this page. I'm going to add another plan now. We're going to add a, another layer of um, complexity. Um, as I was saying before, if this is your main number, for example, um, you may want to route it to a hunt group. So I'm, I'm going to do a, a little bit of an example of creating a hunt group. So once again, we've got the test plan. I'm going to add a new node. And this time, rather than adding a destination, I'm going to add a hunt group. So that's added me another call flow. From there, I'm going to have a quick look and modify the properties. Now, the reason I'm going to do that is because I have several options on how I want this hunt group to behave. Um, the two ones that we would recommend um, are serial. Now, serial hunt group type of, of routing means that we select uh, person one to receive calls first, uh, person two to receive the call second, person three, third, person four, fourth, and, and so on and so forth. The one that we actually use in our office is simultaneous. So what that does is that all of the um, destinations that we're going to apply in the minute will be receiving the calls at the same time. So what I want to achieve is that all of my customer service agents, for example, are going to receive the telephone call simultaneously and therefore I've got the best chance of that telephone call from my customer being answered. So I'm going to set that for simultaneous just for the purposes of this demo. Click save. It's added my control. Well, now I've got to add some additional. If I, Let's just do a quick one to check what I was saying before. If I click validate now, it's going to give me an error. And the reason is because the hunt group has no child defined. That basically means that I've not given it any destinations. So this call, if it was activated just now, it wouldn't go anywhere. So the call wouldn't be answered. The system wouldn't actually allow you to activate this, this particular call plan because we've not finished it. So what do I need to do? I need to add some further nodes. So if I click add on the hunt group, I'm then faced with some options. Um, zip trunk, I could route the call through to the telephone system or if I wanted to. But for the purpose of this, we're talking about routing it to several destinations. So I'm going to hit a destination. Just as before, I'm going to drop in my telephone number. So I will receive calls. I'm then going to add a second one. Second destination, go into the destination, hit modify, or add a secondary telephone number, hit save. Let's add a third one for good measure, hit properties. You can see how it's quite easy and quite intuitive in order to get yourself all right, your, your way around the telephone system, uh, around, the, around the platform itself. Okay. Click save. All right, I'm going to validate now. Yeah, okay, I've validated successfully. Um, I'm not going to do anything from here. I'm just going to close the plan. Uh, in fact, I'm going to cancel for a and talk you through it. So as, as the flow diagram, so remember from the top, so inbound call comes in, I've programmed it with a hunt group node, and that's going to route call simultaneously to the three destinations that I've programmed in. As simple as that. Okay, no problem. Okay, let's try another plan. So I'm gonna add, add a further plan. I'm gonna call it a time of day plan here. So time of day plan. So for example, um, you know, some of us are lucky enough to get the weekends off um, and don't wanna receive inbound calls on their business telephone number on the weekend. So I'm gonna add a plan in to make sure that that doesn't occur. So on this telephone number, I'm going to add a node, and I'm going to add that node is going to be daytime plan. So that once I've added this node, it, it's actually come up with two uh, options. One is the default plan, and one has some daytime control. If I pop into there, hit properties, 
basically I'm given a uh, control of when I want to receive telephone calls on. So I'm, first of all, I'm going to get rid of Saturday and Sunday because Saturday and Sunday is family time. Okay, so then we've got Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday and Friday. If I pop into Monday, click Open Details, untick the all day box, I can pop in my business hours. Now, please understand that these aren't my normal business hours. <laughs> so I popped into business hours, click Add, and you can see that that's come through in there. If I click Save, uh, that basically means that all of those changes that I've made, so, and you can see that in terms of the call flow, if my day, if the time, the particular time matches this day range, then the call will route through this area of the flow diagram. So what I'm going to do then is I'm going to um, add another node, and I'm going to hit destination. Could just as well be a hunt group. So if I hit properties, oh seven eight four eight. You'll be getting used to this telephone number by now. Hit save, so you can see that. So during the hour, during the days Monday to Friday, and we've set Monday as nine till five, then my calls will get through to this destination. But the default plan, part of this plan, um, is for all of the times. So I'm going to add another node, and this time I'm going to go for voicemail to email to give that. Professional touch, though. Okay, I'm out of it's out of hours. If you leave me a message, you know I'll get back to you as soon as I can. That sort of thing. Um, so I've added a voicemail, and that voicemail will be delivered to the email address of your choice. So if I click properties, so once again I'm going to add in a email address because that's where I want the uh, voicemails to be deployed uh, once they've been taken. I can have the system default, which is uh, pretty basic, as you would expect. Can't take your call at the moment. Please leave a message. Um, or I can upload a file from my computer just by going into here and selecting Upload a New File. I'm going to leave it at the system default for the time being. Um, click Save, and there you go. That's been added successfully. So there we go. A quite simple uh, but effective control of where these calls are going to go to on my telephone number. Um, if I hit validate, let's just double check, absolutely. So I've now got my plan, it's quite happy that that is going to work correctly. I can activate it straight away, but very quickly let's schedule an activation. So perhaps we know that the office is going to be closed from um, nine o'clock tomorrow. So I'm going to schedule an activation of that particular calling plan. Um, and you could as well do that for any of the calling plans that you've got at this moment. Okay, a brief, uh, but hopefully I've covered um, quite a few things there. The couple of tips to, to, to note is A, always validate a calling plan before you go about activating it. It will guide you and tell you exactly what is wrong if there is anything wrong in the calling plan. Um, and the second thing is, is to always test the telephone number. So once you've put a calling plan into action, give it a ring. Um, and make sure it's behaving the way that you anticipated. It's okay looking at a flow diagram, but sometimes in practice, that's not how you wanted it to do. So it's always worth a quick test call once you've activated the call plan, just to give it a give it, make sure that it's um, it's working as you want. Okay, so the the next thing I'm going to show you is business continuity. So I'm just going to quickly pop into this one and um, activate reactivate the standard plan for that. But let's, we, we were talking before, and the reason that we've got this in place is possibly in terms of a business continuity scenario. So how do I activate business continuity quickly? Point my number, top right hand corner, we can see a button for manage my BC, manage my business continuity. If I go into there, um, up pops another window. I can select all telephone numbers on my account. I'm going to show you how you can do this on a smartphone app as well shortly. And I'm going to hit invoke business continuity. Am I sure it will cause all my existing call plans to be replaced with my business continuity call plan? Yes, I'm sure I want to do it. And that has activated all the telephone numbers on my plan 
uh, on, on, on the platform, all of my telephone numbers within my estate are now routing as I've programmed for business continuity. Um, and you can do that from the smartphone now. We're gonna show you that um, in just a few moments. But as you can see, quite quickly and quite powerful. Uh, once the um, you want to revoke and return to what where, where we were before, so most likely um, delivering the telephone calls right back into the phone system as normal, everyone's in the office uh, and normal business has resumed. Again, click the link for Manage My BC, select all the numbers of the account, hit Restore Last Active, hit Yes, and all of the all of the telephone numbers once again are back to where they were as normal so very quick very simple um, there are there are an awful lot more um, details and, and features and benefits of SIP Trunk Call Manager, but in terms of business continuity and in the current climate with the things that are going on within the within the world, um, these features that we're showing you today are probably the most pertinent okay. So, we've demonstrated the online portal uh, SIP Chunk Call Manager. That's, that, that can be accessed from a laptop, from a tablet, even from your mobile phone. Probably what is um, more likely to be used, uh, in fact I use it, um, is the application on your smartphone. So you should be able to see now um, a image of my smartphone that I'm currently um, looking at. And I've got the application for SIP Chunk Call Manager available from all the normal app stores. So I'm gonna pop into it. I was already logged in, so I'm just gonna quickly log out. And this is what you would see when you were lo logging in. So once you've got the application, you'll have your username and password. It's exactly the same as it is for the um, the, the web portal. So pop your details in there, hit login. Okay, so you'll be familiar already and I've, I've got the other platform in the background. So you can quite easily see it re it's a replication of the telephone numbers that are already um, in, in installed onto SIP Trunk Call Manager. So I can quickly go in. So we're going to concentrate on the same number that I've been working before. So I go into the telephone number and you can see STCM 40121, my telephone number. And, and if you recall, 10 minutes ago, I was telling you that that means that your calls are routing straight into the telephone system. Um, so I'm aware everything is business as usual. From here, what can I do from here, from the smartphone? So gonna go through uh, a couple of bits. So follow me, that's the first one. If I go into follow me, I can very, very quickly, I haven't created a call plan, for example, I can quickly pop my telephone number in, hit add, hit save, hit yes, and that's all, so basically my telephone calls now on this 0121 number, someone was to call that number just now, they would ring, they, those calls would ring out on my mobile device. So very quickly and very powerful, I can quickly move my telephone calls to another. But that could also be someone else. I could add another telephone number into there. Um, per perhaps, you know, I'm gonna be out of the office for an hour and I want to, my calls to be uh, answered by one of my colleagues. Um, I can put their phone number in and, and add that and the calling plan will be updated instantly. Um, Voicemail to email. So perhaps I'm popping into a meeting or some sort of appointment. Um, again, I can add my email address into here. My fingers are not working quick enough. Hit done. Hit save. Am I sure I want to activate it? I will override the current call plan. I am sure. Hit yes. Okay, so instantly all of my telephone calls on this 0121 number not my mobile phone number incidentally but my 0121 number this telephone number is going to route straight through to a voicemail and the voicemail is going to be delivered via email into my email inbox as, as specified straightforward as that stored call plans so we've been creating these today so i've gone straight into stored call plans and from here i can very very quickly Select a, a calling plan, hit save, confirm. You'll notice you have to do that a few times. And it's telling me on the screen, the call plan time day has been activated. Excellent. So you can actually go and give uh, this 
uh, application and access to your users and give empower them to manage their inbound telephone calls. Um, you know, they can't break anything, um, so you can give them that functionality if you want. Generally kept for administrators, but if you want to give that functionality to users, that can be achieved as well. Okay, um, and finally, um, in terms of business continuity, now earlier when we were creating call plans, we were selecting them and, and saying and ticking the box for make this my BC plan, and that's exactly what it is. So, if very quickly, if I want to activate my business continuity plan on this particular telephone number, I can select, he says. I haven't got a business continuity plan on this number, that's why. So it's not allowing me to add one because I don't have one existing on this number. I mustn't have created one. Okay, no worries. Okay, we'll go into one of the other numbers that I made earlier so I know that that is the case. So on this particular number, this 01443 number, if I select enable business continuity, confirm my DR plan, my business continuity plan has been activated straight away. Excellent. I'm going to just disable that to show you the next part. So near the bottom, you can see another option on the menu, which is business continuity. If I select into that, um, you can see that all of my numbers here uh, are listed. And as far as business continuity is concerned, they are all inactive. It's highlighted inactive and they're all listed as so. If I pop into active, no numbers are currently active in a business continuity plan. So back I go to inactive and let's just say that, yeah, the office is inaccessible and we need to invoke our business continuity plan. Um, I haven't got my laptop, no iPad, but I do have my mobile phone. So if I click select all, or I could just select particular telephone numbers. I'm going to click select all. And then on the right hand side, click activate. Are you sure? Very similar to what was on the website. Confirm. And now all of my numbers, all of the numbers that I selected, have all had their business continuity plan activated. OK. Um, so fairly straightforward. So. In terms of creating uh, a call plan for all your inbound telephone numbers, that's a brief overview. I'd encourage you to uh, pop into the website. Um, there's some details on there to give you some guidance. Please do call on our support team on 0800 008 6038. I'll give you that number again, 0800 008 6038 that's a free phone number from uh, landline or mobile so you can you can speak straight through to one of our advisors and they'd be able to uh, assist you with anything or answer a question uh, query that you've got um, won't keep you any longer thank you so much for coming on to this webinar today uh, and thank you for your business um, and uh, look forward to speaking to you soon bye bye now